Hello, this is Mark. If you want to understand how to proactively create a culture, then this video is for you. You know, Richard Clark from Merck said, culture eats strategy for lunch. And I cannot agree more with Mr. Clark and so many of other of the other business leaders that have, that have spoken this truth. So, so the question is not, is culture important? The question rather is how do I proactively create the kind of culture that I want? And there's three steps that I recommend that you follow. Number one is the right kind of culture takes an intentional plan. So sit with your leadership team, sit with your journal, start writing out where am I today? Where, where is our culture today? What are the good things? What are the things that we need to improve? Then put together a vision for what you want your culture to look like. What, how, how do you want your employees to behave? What do you want our behaviors, our attitudes? What, what do you want that, that makeup of our organization to look like? The first step is identifying where we are and where we wanna go. The second thing is that people do what people see. So as the leader, it's important for you to start modeling the type of behaviors that you want to see in your organization. So if you want a team that's more accountable, you need to be more accountable. You need to resist any opportunity that you might have to fall back on an old habit, and blame somebody else or blame something that's outside of our control. Take full accountability for everything. And then the third thing is to put the right systems in. Systems are, are, are critical because Systems create habits, and habits are ultimately what creates the behaviors that drive a culture. And one of the easiest shifts to make is to look at how you're running your team meeting. You know, one, one of the biggest uh, touch points of leadership is when we get together with our team and we solve problems and we talk about performance. So if we want a more client-centric culture, why not have your team members come and talk about what they did in the prior week to create diehard fans? I mean, what would they do to create wow moments uh, for your customers? If you need more accountability, why not have your employees come and talk about the three things they got done last week, the three things that they're going to get done next week, and what do they see as any potential roadblocks that might, get a, that might get in their way. Think about what you're doing there as you're causing them to focus all week on, on the things that were getting done, the things were going to get done, and you're asking them to plan and to think about what might get in our way in the upcoming week, which that whole process, that system, if you will, will help drive more accountability within your team. So take these three things and put them into place and, and see if they don't if they don't make a difference for you. So, so click on the, down at the bottom, leave us your comments. What things have you seen that have helped you proactively create the kind of culture you want? And what have you learned in this video or in the written blog that's underneath it that you're going to put into practice that's going to help you create the kind of culture that you want? Continue to rise up, step into your leadership, and most importantly, lead with passion.